right, here we are at the archaic smoke tunnel. Laminar flow, turbulent flow, right? Symmetrical airfoil, excuse me, not symmetrical, cambered airfoil. Streamlines compress on the top, expand on the bottom. Low static pressure, high static pressure. We can see separation. I'm going to increase the angle of attack. We can see more separation in a stall. Now in the smoke tunnel, we have a 3D wing. It does not go to the glass, so there's a wing tip. High static pressure on the bottom, low static pressure on the top. Wants to equalize, plus there's velocity. We're going to get a wing tip vortex. As I increase the angle of attack, the pressure difference is more. This leads to induced drag. Here is a device that can alleviate some of that wingtip vortex or induced drag called a winglet. It's bent up at the tip. As I increase the angle of attack, the vortex is less likely to form. Modern airliners, 737s, Airbus, they have winglets to minimize induced drag. <laughs> In the tunnel now we have a streamlined object like a sports car. Skin friction would be the dominant drag. There is not much wake behind there, so a little bit of pressure drag. Also, there's a spoiler to create a downforce to keep the, if it was rear end, rear wheel drive, to keep those on the ground. So streamlined object, skin friction, we want laminar flow. Not much pressure drag, I don't need turbulent flow. Turbulent flow would cause more skin friction drag. All right, for our last demo, I have a blunt object, like a semi-tractor trailer or a Winnebago. As you can see in the tunnel, lots of separation, lots of pressure drag. That's the dominant drag. We'd like to transition this from laminar turbulent to keep it attached longer, make the wake smaller, and cut down the pressure drag. So many ways we can do that. A slot on the back or vortex generators, which we don't have here, could make it more turbulent and stay attached longer. So again, blunt objects, the preferred boundary layer is a turbulent boundary layer to make the wake smaller, to cut down the dominant drag, which is pressure drag. Spinning ball, compression of the stream tubes on the bottom, expansion on the top, low static pressure, high static pressure. This is top spin, which is called a blouse, high to low, cause the ball to dive.